something that, you know, we both kind of want. Because then if they bond, maybe they leave together, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they have sex, Mm -hmm. and um, this is followed by Furious and Riva meeting. It was apparently very awkward between the two, though, because they didn't get along very well. Oh, no. Well, (laughs) as it happens on a film set. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, Furious and Riva meet for coffee. Yeah. I uh, think he has a cafe au lait. Yeah. I still don't even know what that is. I forgot to look it up. Um. I'm sure I won't like it. And they just have a full on argument. Yeah. And she, I like her. She's just like, I will make a fool out of both of us right now. Yeah. <laughs> I do like that because he gets up and he's like, I'm not going to listen to this. She goes, sit down or I will make a fool out of both of us right now. And he's just like, all right. You drink your cafe au lait. Yeah. And she. I don't know what that is. She, I, I'm sure it's full of sugar. Which is and why I she like lays it, it out. Mm-hmm. Like, listen. I will give you full marks and credit. Yeah. Trey needed you Mm -hmm. because he needed to become a man, and you did that. You did that more than most would because, you know, she lays it down. Like, most men in your situation wouldn't have been there for him. Yeah, that's true. And, but you did your job, and now you need to let me do mine. Yeah, pretty much. Because he had a father, and now he needs a mother. Yeah. And again, I don't know if if, if she's right about it, because again, the... The, it's guy hard to is, tell. the guy is months away from going to college. Yeah, like, he what's he going to do? She's only going to have a couple months with him, and then he's gone. Like, I get her point of, like, she got, you know, seven years only seeing him on Saturdays and Sundays. Sure, but... So I think she's at her breaking point of, like, yeah. maybe she also sees that this is happening in the neighborhood, and, you know, it's like... I guess, but I don't know. Because they never, they never check that. No. Like, listen, I can notice that you're that the neighborhood's getting worse and I want him back. She never says that. No, she, she doesn't. She literally well, just I mean, says, I want my boy back. Yeah, she. I mean, well, I can understand that. I think that makes a little more sense than trying to use the neighborhood like, as an excuse. Like, it's the mother thing. The mother thing is, like, no matter how old you are, you're still my little boy. Yeah, but I think, I think right. honestly, I don't think she was on, under the impression of, like, well, it's the neighborhood. Because if it was, she wouldn't have sent him there when he was a fucking kid. Uh, no. The internet's not working for me, so I can't find out what a cafe au lait is. I'm really actually quite annoyed by that. Because like, like cause you're right. Like yeah. sending sending the kid to South Central wasn't probably the greatest, but no. it was because he was he he she, he knew he was in good hands with Furious. Yeah. But I guess she just like. But now I want my boy back. I just yeah. You know, I mean, I can understand that. Why it's now? Though? It just I seems he, like yeah. Like why? Why he, not a year that's, ago? Because that's Furious's point. Like why now? Why all yeah. times now? I don't know. Because it does seem like she was already set up. So they don't really come to an agreement. It no. kind of ends and just. A yeah, stalemate. we're kind of done there. I mean, again, this whole movie takes place over the course of like a week, so it really, if that was where it ended, I don't know. I'm doubting it would have ended there just simply because of what ends up happening. I'm pretty sure that's when she would have thrown like the neighborhood thing of like, well, his friend, you know, all that shit. So, yeah, but we, I don't know. so we get Doughboy and his crew mm-hmm. on the porch. Fair and his crew drive by mm-hmm. to just intimidate again, like they did earlier. Just... Which does not work on Doughboy. No, because he's just like, nah, fuck those guys. Yeah, fuck them. They're 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 a joke. Now, this is one of those 90s things in the film. Uh, Ricky's on the couch. Yeah. Contemplating his future, knowing mm-hmm. oh, I need a 700 my SATs. I'm yep. like, because he's at, before the recruiter, mm-hmm. I'm going to go to SC. Yeah. I'm going to play football. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be a star. NFL, millions of dollars. Yeah. Get my family out of here. Done. Yeah. After the recruiter, he's just like, I don't know. Well, because uh, his whole thing is he doesn't think he can get 700 on his SAT. Because that's what scares him. It's like you need a 700. And he's like, oh. Yeah, like, fuck. Like, that just takes the air right out of his Which, by bone. the way, he's he took the SATs, by the way. Him and uh, him and Trey took the SATs. Yeah. That's a major part. That's a little later in the film. Is it? I thought it was Not early. too far. Are um, you sure? Yeah. yeah. It's not too far after this. Mm. Uh, Ricky sees an army ad. Something yeah. you don't see anymore. Mm-hmm. This was very 90s of, like, be all you can be. and They don't show this anymore? Not really. No, I don't have cable. So Neither I don't do I. Know. That's I the know. thing. I don't have cable on Saturday in the morning. You know what? They still show them in movie theaters, so i got to assume it's still on TV. So they see, like, it's the whole, like, you want a, you want a good job? You want school? Yeah, we like, can do that for we're going to give you army. everything Not letting thing. you know that you can totally go but to if war we and go die. To, <laughs> if we go to war, you're probably going to die. And in 1991... I think there was a war going on. Yeah. So that's why they had ads. Yeah. Uh, and they had, you know, and DB and Rick have a fight Yeah. on the way out. Because it's whole, oh, I, want, I need, to, his girlfriend's making something and she needs, like, cornbread or something. So it wasn't later in the film because he's not going to get past this. Well, I guess it was the SAT the happened. Film. Yeah, yeah. So they had, he they, took his SATs. They took the test. And he, he's got his results. And this scene. And, but yeah, but he doesn't want to look at him. Know. He's like, fuck it. Well, because he leaves him off. Because yeah. he literally has a, he has a, he fist, has a fight. fist fight with Doughboy on yeah. the front lawn. Yeah. And. Because I think Doughboy's just had a. He's just had his. He's fill. had an ass fill because. Like, you know, just like, you know what? I'm sick and tired of you. 
you're the golden boy and I'm yeah. nothing. I'm shit. Yeah. Like, mom I'm being treated treats, like shit all the time. Know, so yeah. fuck you. And they just have a fight. Drag mm-hmm. out fight. It's probably yeah. what brothers do. Exactly. And then that's when the mom shows up with the, like, you've got your SAT scores. And he's like, I don't give a shit. So, and him and Trey go to the store. Yeah. And this is where Trey basically goes, man, my dad. Yeah. Like, because he's talking about going in the army. He's just like, man, we don't have any... Yeah, as I because Furious, his actual words is there's no room for us in a white man's yeah, army. Yeah, because he went to he went to Vietnam, yeah. and it was not. Well, I mean, it's not going to be fun, but he's like, it was also not a good place for a black man. Also, it's weird because mm. yeah, Larry Fishburne's first movie was. That's yeah. Apocalypse there's a now. lot of there's a lot of that of being like a young black soldier in Apocalypse Now. Like, is that the same guy? Um, it's just interesting. I mean, yeah. I know why it works out that way, because his age, it's the 90s. That yeah. would have been the war he was in when he was a kid. It's just interesting that yeah. that actor... Was... Exactly. Did the same thing, so people are just like, it's the same character. This is, this is where Furious ended up. <laughs> <laughs> no, because Larry Fishburne does not make it out of Apocalypse Now Alive. Uh, alternate universe. Alternate it's universe. It's fine. Um, so, Trey and Ricky go to the store. Mm-hmm. Come back from the store. Comes back with a shit ton more food for himself. Yeah. He, <laughs> went, he went for cornmeal. Ended up with a bunch of shit. Yeah, he went for cornmeal and came back with two bags full of groceries because, again, he's a growing boy. He's got to eat. He never stops eating. So the car pulls up, Mm -hmm. and we know shit is on. Yeah, Ferris's car shows up, and we're not playing anymore. Yeah, they're not. No, no. So they basically they see them sort of slow up because it's established with Ferris going. They're those motherfuckers. Yeah, that's them. And then him and uh, Ricky and Trey sort of go like, "All right, they know that they're there." So like, "All right, when I say." We're going to run through the house. Okay. Now, and they run, and then the fucking car tries to chase after them. And then they run, they run, they run, they get away. And then for some reason, and I'm I'm still on Trey's side, Ricky's like, we need to split up. And he's, no, I don't think we should do that. I think we should stay together and just keep going this way. And he goes, no, 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 these guys ain't going to do anything. Let's just split up. We'll be fine. I'll meet you. I'll yeah, meet you Yeah, because Ricky's whole thought process is, they're just trying to they're scare us. They're just trying to scare us. They're not doing shit. And this is where, like, again, Ricky is not taking us seriously because, you know, Trey just is like, I'm fucking out. And oh, he's this just, film. He's bolting. This is not, this is not a good, this is a fantastic moment. It is a great scene. It's done insanely well. Now, the rest of this film gets real serious yeah, real quick. Yeah, where um, hey, the fun and games are over. If whatever, any, whatever if fun there, and games Yeah, were. if there were any to begin with. Um, so we so, get Ricky running because he sees the car. Not yet. So what happens basically is like like I said, Trey is kind of like he's fucking taking it very seriously. Ricky is eating, I think, an ice cream sandwich and scratching a lottery ticket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then the car because he thinks pulls he gets up. away. Yeah, and then the car pulls up, and, and they, he's out in, in the open too, which proves that he's not paying attention. And they somehow end up roughly in the same alley, just yeah. further apart from each well, other. Well, because what happens, I think, is that like because again, they're going the same direction. They're trying to get to the same place, so. Ricky, I think, uh, my guess is Trey sort of cut around the long way, and then, and Ricky stopping, Mm -hmm. gave him plenty of time to catch up, and then that's when you see the car pull up, and Ricky doesn't even notice. And And I think at this point, Doughboy and his crew know what's up, and they're trying to run towards them. Because they see the car. They see the car, and they're just, Trying to catch up, but they're on foot. Well, they're on the, they take his car, and I think Chris just tries to go quickly in his wheelchair. Exactly, and like, yeah, Doughboy's just like, literally sees the car, just goes, oh shit, Rick, and they fucking, they jump in the car. And then, this is again, where Ricky's sort of like, just not paying attention, and I think this is where, like, the car pulls up, and also Trey happens in the same alley. And literally just screams, just Ricky, Ricky fucking hears, sees what's going on, drops the shit and starts running. And Ferris pulls out a shotgun and bang, right in the back, like the lower back. And so now, then, I mean, logically speaking, mm, the distance he was... Yeah, it I would have... With a shotgun, no. But still, hits him. Yeah. And it's... Like the the effect, yeah. In a movie that's only six million dollars, like is it's it's impressive. really it's really well done. Um, it's it also like, helps that it's slow motion. Yeah, like scarily realistic. Yeah, like he like it literally goes right through him. Yeah, and it's the it's, the squib goes off and it just, yeah, and boom. it's just boom. It's like an explosion through his stomach, and then one more shot to finish finish it off. Because I think he staggered, staggered, hit him twice, yeah. hit him a second time, and then he falls. And he's out, and, and they drive off. They drive off, and Trey runs to him, catches him. And, like, 
he's just freaking the fuck out. And this is when Dobe rolls up, and he has... At first, I was like, I don't know if it's a good reaction, but no, this actually works. Because yeah, it's, sort of, it's not over the top. No, it's he not doesn't angry. freak out. He just sort of goes, fuck. Like, he knew what happened. He knows what's going on. And he's just like, fuck, I was too late. And he doesn't panic. Because he's not the guy. He's he, not. He, like, he's, 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 you know, he's, he's hard yeah. and all that, right? And, so, he's, like, and this is not the first one he's seen. Now, mind you, first brother, sure, but not his first friend that's gone down this way, I'm sure. So he's just like fuck, this happened, and now here's my life, and I gotta take him home, and all this shit. Like, it's not, it's not a panic of losing a brother, it's a panic of everything I have to do now is going to be about this. Now, I know for the, like, I guess thematically for the scene, it Mm -hmm. makes sense. Mm -hmm. Why do they bring him home? Because there's nothing you can do. Because there's nothing you can do, right? And you know that the mom's gonna want to see him. The, his okay. girlfriend's going to want to see him. Because they drive home, they carry him in, they put him on the couch, mm-hmm. and then just the scenes after scenes of mm-hmm. his of his girlfriend with the baby first, and she just, I love her reaction, yeah. because it's slow. It's yeah. not immediate, ah, no. it's no, just it's... looks, looks, yeah. processes, processes, and then just yeah. immediately, she no! has just She has a moment yells. of like, what the fuck is going on? What are you doing? And then that's when she sort of like, the realization hits. And the mom has the exact same yeah. reaction of like, what's like, going what on? Are Why you are you all, all screaming? About? And then it's like, oh my God. And then, and, Ricky! Yeah, like the favorite son is gone and she has the reaction you would expect where she basically blames Doughboy. What I, well, before that, I what I mm. love is, wait, baby, wake up. Yeah. Because she just, it, her brain cannot process that he's yeah. dead. Like, no, no, yeah. no, he's fine. Just, baby, wake up. Just wake up. Yeah, Please yeah. wake up. Yeah. It's mom. It's mom. Yeah, Just wake like, up. get up, get up, get up, get up. And she doesn't, and he, of course, doesn't. And then, like... Then she turns to Doughboy. And but just... Doughboy tries, and I do love this. He tries. He's like, give me the baby. Yeah. And she's not, and he's like, the baby doesn't need to see this. Yeah. Give me the baby. And then that's when mom is just like, this is your fault. This is your fault. And he's like, I didn't do anything. And he didn't. Yeah. Legitimately, he didn't. Like, he didn't. This is, you know, and he's just like, I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. And she keeps hitting him. And he's like, I didn't do it. And then Trey freaks out and just... Well, he's covered in blood. Yeah, he's cuff, head to toe blood. And he's just like, fuck this. And he, he leans over to Doughboy. And he's just like, my house, five minutes. And then he walks out of the house. And like, everybody at this point is gathered around, including his girlfriend, who is just like, what happened? He's like, go home. What happened? Just go home. And he goes into his house and immediately goes to Furious's room and Furious, like, and, like, he hasn't actually shown up yet. And he goes in to grab the gun and Furious... Because Furious mainly going, just go home, Brandy. Yeah, yeah. I got he this. Pops I in, have him. He pops in and is like, I've got this, I've got this. And then he tells her to go home, which of course she doesn't. And uh, he's just like, and he gives the fatherly advice. Like, he has the gun. He's like... Because so he what? brandishes the gun. He's got the gun. He's just like, so what, you're hard now? You're a fucking tough You're a big guy. man. Because you got a gun? You gonna shoot me? And he's standing in front. It's like, you, so you're gonna shoot me? Like, and Basically telling him, you have yeah, to shoot me. You have me to shoot to me to get me out of here. And he's just like, give me the gun. Listen, I'm sorry for your friend. Yeah. I am, but that's... That's their problem. Like, because that's... At the end of the day, it's just like, I'm so sorry to him and his family, but that's their problem. That's yeah. not our problem. Yeah, like, you... You can't do this. Because he's realistic. Thing. He's because yeah. he's level headed about it. Yeah. And he's just like, listen, you can't because you're gonna ruin your life yeah. doing this. Your life will be over because of this. Like, just just give me the fucking gun, and which he eventually does. Acquiesce is given the gun, and <laughs> Larry Fishburne has a fantastic um, delivery. Well, not delivery. Look after because when he gives him the gun and walks away, he just has a brief fucking moment of. Thank God. Yeah, like oh. Yeah, like fuck, and like, and then this is when you know because he just he just diffused what could have been yeah, just his son throwing his life completely away yeah, um, and then we get mm-hmm. Trey still leaving with Doughboy mm-hmm. without the gun, but still leaving with him. He still crawls out the back window. Um, when Neil Long tries to fucking go comfort him, he's already jumped out the back window, and and you see the look on fucking good Furious face yeah, going. It's like, Fuck. I thought I had it. Yeah. And then he jumps in the car, and then this is where we get, for me, the most annoying sound in the world of Furious playing with the, the, the metal balls and swishing them around in his hand. And they're just driving around, looking for Ferris and his crew. 
Because it's not a, it's obviously not a stress ball thing. It's I guess it's just it's like a calming, it's a calming thing. It's a calming thing. thing to 